Today on the channel, we're going to revisit my Kramer Beretta Special. Everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to revisit my Kramer Beretta Special. I bought this thing a year ago and I wanted to do a follow-up video of my opinions on this guitar, how it's held up, what I still think about it, and we're going to do a sound test. So let's take a look at it. First of all, this guitar is uh, beautiful. This is a sparkle blue uh, Kramer Beretta Special. I believe these are made in China. They're about 199 bucks last time I checked. To be honest with you, I haven't looked on Sweetwater or Guitar Center lately, but I want to say these are still 199. I feel that these guitars at this price point are some of the best guitars you can buy for the money. They look great. They've got the iconic slanted pickup just like Eddie Van Halen had. I love this Zebra pickup. It's a hot pickup. It's very, very hot. And it's got a lot of nice clarity and crunch to it. This is a stripped down guitar as you would expect a Kramer Beretta to be. One pickup, one volume knob. The input jack is really nice. I like the fact that this is kind of a tip of the hat to the old 80s style input jacks. You don't got to worry about this thing breaking off or giving you problems. Uh, super cool. Um, I upgraded this tremolo system. I bought a Fender made in Mexico Fender tremolo. In hindsight, it probably wasn't a necessary upgrade. The tremolo system that comes on these guitars have a lot smaller block than the, the Mexican Fender bridges, but uh, the Mexican Fender bridges are like 29 bucks, 25 bucks, something like that. You can get them online. Sweetwater sells them, Guitar Center, Sam Ash, you name it. You can get them for 29 bucks. I think I got this one at a Sam Ash, actually. You just got to make sure that the, that the, the screws, the, the spacing in the screws, if you, if you measure what yours are on the Kramer and you measure what's on, online, when you buy this, you'll get the right uh, setup. But the Mexican tremolo systems for a Strat, uh, they work fine. It worked good on this guitar. So... That's my recommendation. Uh, the, there's no issues with the paint or anything. One thing that's happened over time is this neck has dried up. I use humidifiers in my house to try to keep things from this happening, but the neck has got a, um, a pretty fair amount of neck sprout on the edges. It's not super sharp or anything that's gonna you know, cut your hand or make you, make you play worse really, but it does, you can feel it. So every single fret, top and bottom has got some form of neck sprout. When I bought this guitar brand new, it didn't have, have that. So this has changed over the last year. Let's take a look on the back side of the guitar. This will give you an idea of the, the bridge. Uh, the, the Chinese bridge that comes on these guitars is super thin, barely enough metal to have these holes drilled in it. So the Chinese bridge is is half this thickness so this bridge for 29 25 to 29 dollars may give you more sustain and stability uh i would say uh you know for the money it's not really a, a bad investment but i don't know if it's really worth it the volume pot is a nice decent sized volume pot that's in this guitar uh, i just clipped the capacitor off of it these have a capacitor on them and i found that when you roll back on the volume with that on there they they don't retain a really nice, uh, bright sound. They, they get kind of muddy. So I would recommend clipping that off with a pair of uh, pliers, uh, you know, with some cutting pliers. Very simple to do. It's like a 15 second job. I took the plates off the back of this guitar before I started shooting. So the plates are just your standard black plates um, that go on there. So. They're nice, uh, really nice guitar. There's the, the neck plate, just a standard Kramer neck plate, nothing fancy. Strap buttons look like this. Here's a picture of the neck, the back of the neck. Basic tuners, real basic. 
it's a rock and roll machine. 200 bucks on the used market. I don't know, maybe 150. Maple neck looks cool. I like the I like the grain on the neck. If you were to buy a neck like this online, uh, you'd be paying 120, 130 bucks for a neck like this. So for the whole guitar, you get it for just a little bit more. One thing I would recommend also is uh, you may want to replace the nut. I don't have any issues with the nut, but some people have tuning problems with guitars that don't have locking nuts. But you could replace the nut. You could put a, you know, a bone nut or a brass nut on there, I suppose, or just put some lubrication, some graphite or lubrication on the nut to prevent it from uh, having tuning issues. So first impressions were great on this guitar. I loved it. A year later. I still think it's an excellent guitar, uh, a great beginner and intermediate guitar. You could even play this as a professional, just depending on what you wanted to do. It's not super versatile. It's rock and roll, and it's kind of a one-trick pony, but it looks great. It sounds really nice, and it plays, plays very good. So let's plug it in. We'll do a little bit of a sound test and I'll let you be the judge. Cool? <laughs> Oh, 
Thank <laughs> you.